Good afternoon everyone, I'm Green Lizard. And I'm Jilly Apples. And welcome back to Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. Okay, so um, it's been about three months since I opened up this game. So, <laughs> uh, I, let's see if I can remember what we're doing now. I collected some dragonflies off screen, so I think what we're going to do now is see the sleepy bear. Because he'll take us to the next area. But yeah, I did a lot of uh, dragonflies off screen. And, uh. Hooray! Uh, oh, right. The uh, farm level, I actually 100%ed, except for one of the dragonflies. Like, there was one. Uh, there was one uh, mini game area, which was you have to fly a UFO around and stop another UFO from abducting the cows. But it controlled so incredibly badly that I, like I even did it on my first try. It wasn't hard, it was just an absolute ordeal to control. So I didn't even, I didn't even want to, like it, it said, do it again for um, like another dragonfly. Hey, and I was just like, the no. Have invaded our palace and sabotaged the machines. Oh no. I can't even remember that well how it was, but it was just bad. Like you tilt forward and it would actually tilt forward instead of just moving along. And you had to pull back so you would be aiming up at the enemies. This amazing UFO action here. What on earth? Okay, I thought he was like some kind of <laughs> cyborg bug. That mouth. Oh yes. Oh, I forgot how to play play Sparrow for a second. Oh. It's just there. Yeah, why why have all the runes except the first one been really like we've found them accidentally. I know it might have taken us ages to find that one on the beach level if I hadn't just ran into it. Yeah, well that's the thing though, you just ran into it and I just ran into that one as well without even seeing it. They don't even I don't feel like they even stand out that much. All the gems are very brightly coloured, but the runes are kind of dull green. Yeah, why couldn't you just, you know, erase the runes and complete the level to get a skill? Wouldn't that make more sense? Well, it kind of makes the um, the runes as your method of progression kind of make the uh, the um, what on earth is that? Um, you, you okay there? Is he holding a pillow or something? What is that? I think it's a pillow. Oh, he's like an angel or something? He's got a halo? Oh my goodness, I forgot how badly Spyro controls. That's one confused angel right there. It's walking eternally into the wall. But yeah, it kind of makes the uh, objective, the story objective that each level has, kind of feel pointless. Because... You don't get anything from doing the objective. You can just collect all the uh, the gems and enough dragonflies to progress forward in the game. But then you don't actually have to do the thing that you were supposed to do. You don't get a uh, thingamabob from doing that. You just get a rune randomly on the ground. You're going to open that and stop crinkling it. Yeah, okay. It's for my diabetes. Diabetes. This level actually looks quite oh. nice. What's these, uh, all these starfies? They might be, um, like the animals that you, you kill to get health. Maybe. It'd be kind of sad though. What? Oops. Oh. Okay, why am I not dead? Oh! Oh, I thought this was a death pit. How do I, uh, press B? That's right. Why am I even bothering? Because you love this quality gameplay. I mean, the, I mean, honestly, I do. Like the basic gameplay is just fun on a very basic level, which is why it's still. What was I going somewhere? Yes. Is this just a dead end? Oh no. Ugh. Well, yes, you do kill them to get health. Yeah, there's a way out of here. But they're so happy. I don't like that laugh sound though. Well, is there anything happening in this level? It's, it looks pretty, but it just, it's just kind of empty and open, yes. 
Can I get some kind of direction, please? That thief has stolen my magic wand, and I oh, need no. it to activate the swirly to the next machine. Can you get it back for me? That seems like a poor design. I mean, not design. I'm do not talking about the game. I'm talking about real life. A poor decision. A poor system. That's it. Where everything depends on a wand that could easily get stolen or broken or something. What thief, anyway? Oh, that one. As soon as I hear him, then it's like, oh yeah, now I understand. Oh wow, that was really challenging. <laughs> that wasn't even that hard. How are these guys? How are these guys even surviving? If all these enemies are surrounding them constantly and they're just so pathetic. Thanks, Spyro. Now I can power up the swirly. He's forever in debt to you for all those really hard trials you went through to get the thief. Yeah. Where's the thief? Oh, there he is. There. Here's your one back. Apparently this level has some very annoying to get uh, gems, like in really really out of the way spots and they don't even show up until you get close enough. Oh what? no! You did not get oofed. Okay, where'd that dragonfly go? Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, great. I switched to the bubble best so I can catch the dragonfly, but then I'm defenseless. There you go. He's on a, an, another platform. Let's Squints go. into distance. Oh, there! What? Why? Ah. Because fun. Okay, Bubble Breath actually breaks the the jar still. You boy. Are you? Oh, he oh, actually missed me, and I fell. Where did he go? Did he go down? Yeah, he did. Gameplay. Down to Rainbow Road over here. Oh great, now I can't get back up there. Oh, that is obscene. That is obscene. I can't get him now. I have to go all the way back. And then with the dodgy hitboxes, there's no guarantee that I'll even get him next time. Even if I have good timing. Well, now he's over there. Oh, I got him, even though I wasn't even pointing at him. Hooray. Hooray. It's actually surprisingly simple. Now, what to be this thing over here? That is a good question. I mean, I guess there's some kind of weather machine or something. Are those, like, tiny buildings? Because that's what they look like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wasn't really paying attention to what the sleepy bear was saying. Maybe it's a weather factory? I don't know. He needed his one oh, for look, something. Oh look, see the symbols on them. Maybe you're meant to... Are those for... No, they're just day and night. No. Also, I better change back to an actual offensive breath while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, no, okay, that's nothing then. Yet. Spyro strikes fear into the hearts of his enemies with bubbles. None shall defeat him. Oh, there's a way forward. Blue. Okay, well, that had stock sun thunder sound effect, whatever that means. Why does this guy just sound like Donkey Kong? Hmm, maybe that's something somebody should suggest oh, what? to Donkey Kong. Use a, use a pillow instead of a barrel. Great defensive weapon. I tried fluttering it, it didn't even work. Is there any purpose to that? Big blue effect. Big blue effect. Oh yeah, yes. the, like the thunder. I don't know. Presumably just decoration. And I'm unclear. Is this some kind of weather factory kind of place? That's what I would expect. Okay, that time I make. I can make the jump. What? Oh, it's an enemy. I couldn't even get away in time. Oh dear. Ugh. That looks nasty. Dangerous flatulence monster. Yeah, okay, cool enemy. It just sits there thundering every three seconds when the when the stun time after getting hit is 2.5 seconds. Ha <laughs> ha. I shall defeat, defeat Spyro with my... What was that? With my wimpiness. What was that? I thought, there was, I, thought I saw another cloud right on top of me. That was weird. I think it just left. 
Good day, sir. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> the developers of this game, to all the people who bought it and played it. Yay, okay. What's what do, close? What do kids love? Spyro. What do we love? Money. Money. Money, 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 money. Well, oh no, there goes my earphone. Are you meant to do something to that? Because there was just a thing leading up here. Yeah, um, is... Th do I... Oh, wow. Uh, do I breathe on it? No? Well, that's basically all I can do, so... That is very odd that they would he put that there if you can't do anything. Uh, the, the bear said your lightning breath would be useful for something. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, we're stupid. 200 IQ. I'm stupid for not noticing that you said that, and you're stupid for not mentioning it to me earlier. Why you bully me? <laughs> okay, well... Oh, I don't want to have to go back. Oh. Well, I guess you are. Okay, well, we're back to before the uh, machine anyway. Oh yeah, there is a cloud up there. But... Is it? Is it even... Is, is lightning isn't even reaching the ground. It can't even... It can't even reach me. It's like stuck in the ceiling right there. And here we see quality development. Why is that there? Maybe it's not even meant to be there. It's loaded in the Well, exactly. Place. Like, it really seems like it's not supposed to be there. But it doesn't move or anything, so how did it... Did you see the world load in? Yeah. There was just blueness at the end of the corridor and then the world appeared. It's like it doesn't, it's not like it could have moved there and got stuck, so how did it even get like that? Or maybe it does move, because this one's here now. I am Confucius. I am Confucius. Um, no, where is, where was the first machine anyway? Oh, it was on the Rainbow Road. Oops. No! Well, I guess we're going back there anyway. We've got 13 lives anyway. Lives are really easy to get in this game or something. Like, so easy that I don't even notice. No. That's the thing though, I noticed while recording in some places that, like, I get an extra life and don't even notice because there's no fanfare or anything, it doesn't make a noise. Just Spyro's life counter pops up in the corner for a second. I keep playing certain Mario games. Yeah, we've got to go over there. I'm getting really worried about lives. And then later on realising I have like 150. Yeah. And I was I was going through levels, trying to get one-ups and didn't even think to check that I had so many lives. Well Mario at least makes a noise when you get one, so... I don't know, like, you would expect it to... Maybe the know. developers just realised nobody would care. No! Come on! Why wouldn't he glide? Hooray! Dumb game. Stupid. Okay, now let's move on. And that cloud is still stuck there. Oh, and now he's back to the middle. Okay, sure. I think there's some weird loading position positions here. Like glitched loading in. Is this guy inside a pillar? And why is his light permanently on as well? No, he's not in a pillar, he just has a chunk missing out of his head. I think he's 2D and part of his head was not showing through the lightning effect. Look, what is wrong with these clouds? Are they really glitchy or something? 